All right, guys, it's time to get loaded up for the county fair. So we're gonna, we're gonna load the goats first and all the feed buckets and stuff we need. We're gonna put them in the front of the trailer and then we'll back up right over here and we'll load the steer. All we got left to load up is the commercial steer. So we'll go in here and get him sorted out. Get him walked up in there. There he is. Walk to his shoulder, pat behind his shoulder. There you go. Walk behind his shoulder. Behind his shoulder, not in front of it. There you go. Go right behind him now. Good job. He also is the one that likes to He likes to play. Him. Both hands on that gate when you pull it around. Hey, you have no leverage the closer you get to the... All right, go on up there and shut your gate on him. Keep your hand on that in case he kicks it. So guys, this is a good teaching moment for both you guys out there that may not know it and for Clance. So hang on before you undo that. So anytime you go up behind a calf, whether you've got a hold of it, you're getting a trailer gate or it's a, a, a gate like this that's hung on a post, you always get a hold of that gate for sure with one hand. Lots of times it's better to have two if you can get them on there because if you go up like this and that, and you swing that gate and that calf kicks it, it comes right back. And you're not gonna get your hand up there fast enough to stop it from hitting you in the face or um, anywhere else. So always keep a hand on it. And remember, the closer you are to the hinge side of it, the less leverage you have. So you always wanna be out on the end of the gate to give yourself the most, gives you the most strength to, to keep it from getting knocked back into you. And even if the cattle aren't kicking, just if they spin around and hit it, stop, bub. If they spin around and hit it with all their body weight, they can knock that thing back into you. So if you've got your arms extended and you've got a good hold on it, it's less apt to come back and hit you. So y'all keep that in mind. So, um, well, we're gonna cut you off for now and we'll show you maybe, hopefully we got enough time and, and we remember when we get to the fairgrounds and we start unloading. But um, I'm gonna give you a little walk through the trailer right here. Bob, let me buy. All right. We gotta go shut the steer pin back up. So. Um, so this is number 10 Clancy's commercial steer these are his four Angora goats there are four classes of Angora goats two year old buck two year old nanny two year old or two and under Billy two and under nanny so he has one in each class and then the little dorper where'd she go She's hiding back in there somewhere. Where are you? There she is. The little dorper orphan baby. We're just gonna take her just because she's been used to being in there with those other nannies and with, with those kids. And uh, we'll just take her and throw her in there to pin with them. So no big deal. All right, guys, thanks for coming along with us. We're fixing to head out. We got all of our feed loaded, everything ready to go. So we're gonna head to the county fair. Get them unloaded and get ready to show tomorrow. Go we'll feed the goats. I mean, that's half of that bucket. I thought you said it was for... Hey, won't you, hey, won't you put your bucket out here?
there, P? All you right, so. Button, this button, just because that shirt's trying to fall open on you. So. Oh, yes. Oh. You yeah, look nice. Are you um nervous? She's Are you nervous? No. No? Not really. Why not? Let's do this. Good. Pre interview before the interview? Pre interview before the interview. Kelly just wants to have all these. Movies. Kelly wants to take <laughs> our picture. Here, I'd like to review this book. So this the is the well born theater and all of my bookie people I follow. Is it good? Uh, well, I'm not I'm not very far into it. Oh, okay. hundred pages. I like it so far, but I bought it sad and sweet. Let me know how it goes. Oh, yeah. We're now waiting for the commercial Cadillac Theater. Oh, I thought there was a, I didn't realize it was open right there. There you go. I'm good like that. I'm good like that. Oh, this is for the... You want to be on it? It's not funny. Fourth place the Clancy Archie of Lake Valley for it. Hey y'all, it's Cody. Uh, so this is a couple of days after the county fair and we forgot to kind of finish filming what was going on there in the ring and we were kind of in a hurry because Clancy also had to show his name Gore Ghost right after the announcement of what place he got. So as you saw in the video there, Clancy ended up fourth out of five, which is not where we wanted to be, but in reality, he improved his point, his score 15 points over the year before. So out of a possible 100 points, he scored 89 points. Um, the difference between the first place calf and the fifth place calf, or the grand champion in fifth place, was only a seven point difference. So the the grand champion calf, uh, the kid got 90, the girl got 95 points total, and the fifth place was 88. So not a huge difference there. So the race was pretty tight. Um, all the cattle were excellent. All the kids did a great job on their record book. So the deciding factor came down to who did the best on their quiz and who did the best in their live interview with the judge. Um, Clancy did great on his interview. He got to 26 out of a possible 30 points. He missed two points on his quiz and that just came from a rounding error. So um, during one of his calculations, I think it was on a feed cost calculation, he rounded too soon in the equation instead of running it all the way out and, and rounding at the very end. So that cost him two points. And, you know, we can be like, well, that's just pretty nitpicky for a 14-year-old, but there has to be a deciding factor between those kids. There has to be something that differentiates them to, to set them apart so that you can place them. And when it gets down to that point, when it's that close, I mean, just something as, as minor as a, a $2, you know, price figure, uh, rounding in the wrong spot, and it, it changing your feed cost by $2, that, that's where it had to come. So, um, super proud of him. He did a great job. Um, like I said, improved his score by 15 points over last year. That's awesome. His first year competing as a senior. So I give kudos to all the kids. It was, it was just a tough competition. I mean, it was, the cattle were great. The kids did a great job and we're ready for next year. We're going to practice harder and, and make sure we don't make those minor mistakes. Um, I would say a portion of the, of his, interview he didn't get any questions wrong in the interview there were just some things that he didn't explain fully and i'm going to take the blame for that because when i look at it you know like like just say for instance one of the questions that was maybe a three-point question that he only got two points on was what's the difference between a vaccine and an antibiotic you know and the way i i, I kind of not dumbed it down but made it made it easy for clancy to remember is a vaccine prevents and protects, whereas a antibiotic treats. Well, that's the way, you know, that's the way I taught it to Clance and that's the way he learned it. You know, and the judge wanted a little more in depth into that. So it wasn't that he got it wrong. He just didn't get all the points because he didn't answer it fully and it, quite as much as the judge was looking for. So just little things like that, guys, is all it is. And uh, I'm, like I said, super proud of him. All the kids did a great job and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll do a little bit better next year. That, that's the way. That's the way it felt. It.
Kylie. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> You get it to the third place though. She's a heavy shearer though, very big scale, nice square. Uh, she doesn't give up other than she is the coarsest one in the class. She's large, she's got a nice confirmation. She just needs to be fine. She just needs to be a little finer to be able to move up. But this is a really nice group of does. Thank you. I've watched these kids all day long or for the last couple of hours, uh, working with their stock, how they're handling their stock in the ring, during the class, as well as the shop and chip class. I watch these kids the whole time, not just in this class, but the whole time. How they handle the goats, uh, how they treat their animals, how they bring them in. You can always tell what kid has worked with their animals and uh, taken care of them at home. So, with that being said, the bubble today will go to the young man. Uh, he kept eye contact with me. He got on the right side of the boat, just got confused one time. Uh, and, and another thing, the young lady did real good. Eye contact, right side of the boat. But you've got to be in control of your animal, be able to handle your animal. Have one picked out that you want to bring in here uh, for a showmanship class, since you have a showmanship class. At other shows, some shows, you don't have a separate class. We don't have a separate class at most of the shows that we film for the youth. But it's all about how you care for your animal 100% of the time. In the ring, at home, in the alley, and I was watching. So I know who and how the animals got treated by each and every one of you today because I watched the whole time. But job well done, you two. Just keep working on it. You're young, you're going to be good. And the breeding sheep and the market lambs. So I guess it will depend on that when he wants to get this stuff started. We said approximately. We can swap it when we get lighter too. All right, guys. We are at the sale. The county fair sale of champion. Whoops. And since it's we've been terrible at videoing and terrible at talking about what we're doing, I thought we would at least get on and say we're at the sale. And Clance is looking sharp. He's gonna go up there. We brought a cinnamon roll cake to give our buyer and hope he does well tonight. So our sale is uh, not a terminal sale, meaning that it the kids that sell animals, like Clancy's gonna sell his reserve champion Angora Billy Goat, the buyer does not get his animal. They just get, basically it's just a donation to the kid. Now, if you have a home economics project that you're selling, the buyer does get that, but not the animals. So, so we always give a buyer's gift so that they get something. So here's the Buckle Clancy one. I don't know if y'all can see that very well for his reserve. This is for showmanship. And then where's your buckle for reserve? So he's going to hold this one up during the show, uh, during the sale. Um, but nobody will be able to see it, but he's going to hold it with along with his banner. So... All right, well, all right, we'll see you on Let's time. Go. Lot number 36, Angora Billy Kidd, Clancy Archie. Welcome, Clancy, how are you? Good. All right, hey, Valley, here we go. Somebody said it in on the Angora Billy Goat. $500, $500, thank you, $600, $700. Everybody said what it said. No, he could have been $9, but 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 he could have been
by all four. Working. Wow. Paul is actually working. Are you video? Yeah. Well, hello. Your dad always wants to be in the video, so I made sure I got him in video. Did you get Charles on the video? I didn't. I should have. I don't know what I was thinking. That was the best thing. I know. Especially when he would make up a number. When they'd say, what's your number? I told him, well, I said, next year I'm going to get a number and I'm putting his name on it and I'm going to give it to him. And then send it back. to his daddy. Can I go change back? We're just leaving. Don't change back. There's no reason to change back. You can hang out for just a yeah, well, we're about to leave. We're literally leaving in. We're literally leaving in five minutes. So don't change. We're just fixing to go. Can I go change back now? I'm like, no. Did you have fun? Yeah. Wonderful. It was a good sale. Pretty, pretty strong. I felt like. Uh, you know, it's really just a donation to the kids, and I think everybody in our community pitched in. I mean. $12,000 for our judging team that's going to go and represent us in That was Scotland. awesome. That's awesome to help those kids. I mean, from a little small town fair, I mean, I'm sure there was well over $100,000 spent tonight. I don't know how far away on that. But. Cody kept raising his hand, I kept putting it down. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. All right, y'all have a good night. <laughs> y'all want to be on? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Where have you been? Okay, fine. Where have you been? Okay. Well, okay. She's like, have you been like outside? running the whole time? You're like sweated down and it's like, uh -uh. hey, that's backwards. 40 degrees outside. You're so. All the way back. Are you on live? Yes, not live, but. On you, it's it's on YouTube. It's recording for YouTube. You don't want to be on YouTube? No. Okay, she doesn't want to be on YouTube. Okay, Katie does. YouTube. Huh? Yes. Like and subscribe. See, she closed me out.